Right ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Addicted to Angling. Another carpy video today. As you might be able to tell from the uh, title of the video, I've actually gone on to a day ticket war. Syndicate, love that place, don't get me wrong, but I want to see if I can uh, have a crack at some bigger fish. So, I'm on Suffolk Water Park, Big Lake. Ipswich, Suffolk, good head of 20s, 30s and there's even some 40s in here as well a few named fish some very special fish on the uh, on the list of named fish if we get into one of them it'll be absolutely superb but to be honest with you any fish from here tonight will absolutely do me superbly now I turned up at midday I'm on 24 hours it's 30 pounds for a 24 hour ticket turned up at midday I'm booked on to peg 16 small willow small willow is the lake is like a horseshoe shape. The small willow is further down into the shallow area of the lake. It's probably about halfway down. Turned up, went and saw Nick inside the uh, shop. Booked myself on again for another couple of weeks time. Uh, I've got a very good peg for that session so we will see what happens with that. Made my way around. I must have spent a good half an hour once I got here. Leading the uh, lead in the area out. There's a lot of weed out there a hell of a lot of weed Obviously, it's a shallow area of the lake more sunlight makes its way through weed grows Tried all distances and I found that uh, about 40 yards out There is a weed bed and then as you come off the weed bed There's some fairly soft silt which goes into gravel Now where I am fishing I'm fishing just on the edge of that weed bed in the silty gravelly type area now, obviously found the area, spawned in 10 spawns over each spot, fishing at both, both rods at the same distance, but I'm fishing a little bit further apart, probably a good, probably about 20 foot apart both rods are. One one end of the weed bed, the other, you know, the other end of the weed bed and the swim within the area. Any fish coming in, skirting that weed bed from either end should get targeted and should hopefully get hooked up. Spawn mix, little tiny bit of hemp. I know a lot of people say don't use hemp it attracts the bream. I've also got a lot of 18 mil and a lot of 14 mil Parker Bates OG fish in there as well. The reason I like using hemp is, yes it attracts the smaller fish, but it creates activity in the area. You know, it gets the, any, any flavors that are sitting on the bottom, the smaller fish are gonna, you know, they're gonna mix it up. It's gonna draw the carp in. And the boilies are there, so even if all the hemp does disappear from the small fish, the boilies are still going to be sitting there. But, hopefully, even with the big carp, if they move in with hemp on the bottom, that will get them rooting around. You know, like I say, it's fairly soft, fairly silty. It's going to get them rooting around in that silt. It's going to get them feeding. It's hopefully going to get the swim rocking. Added to the uh, mix, I also added some OG fish sauce and also some flat spot as well so as I put it out it flattened the surface off and also if any fish come in and start feeding it will also flatten the surface off here as well. A few people on the lake don't get me wrong um, it's not massively rammed it probably will be rammed a little bit later on like I say it's still only early days I think it's three o'clock now everything's set up you know everything's out got the bivy set up sorry about that there's a road that runs just beside the water park down there it is quite a busy road so you might well hear some sirens and stuff as a fire engine going down there. Oh, literally, as I said, that fish has just topped over my uh, over my bait, so they're in it. That's brilliant, absolutely superb. Didn't do any uh, footage of me setting up or anything like that because I really wanted to spend my time leading. You know, I didn't I didn't want to spend my time doing B-roll footage. I wanted to spend my time leading around. I wanted to find out where I was. I wanted to get set up and then I thought I would come on camera. But obviously, you know, I'll be putting some more spawns out before I go to bed, so I will show you my spawn mix. I'll uh, show you whereabouts I'm fishing. But yeah, it's a lovely swim. It really, really is. It did a fish last night. I think it did a 28 last night. Is it good? Is that good? Is it bad? Shows the fish could be in the area, but obviously fish swim. They could be around here. Half an hour later, they could be the other side of the lake. You know, it's... It's one of them things, but to, you know, with the weather conditions the way they are, and a fish come out last night, it is looking promising. There is a fairly strong headwind. I've had to back lead in here because I put the rods out and I'm fishing quite high up because the water level is quite low. So I put the rods out 
and the wind, the tow was actually setting the alarms off, you know, they're not super sensitive, but so I've just dropped the back lid on straight down and straight across. There's no weed or anything this side of that weed bed. So hopefully that line, I've left it, left it fairly slack. Hopefully that line is just sitting nicely over the silt, out of the way of any passing fish as well. So nothing should get spooked. And like I say, I'm hoping for a fish. I really am, but we will see what happens. And uh, I'll come back in a little while and I will give you a little sit rep, see what's going on, all right? Right, I just thought I'd give you a tour of the swim, to be honest with you. Um, we're fishing in. Small willow. All the swims here have got like, lovely little boards on, I'm telling you which swim to fish. And if we come into the swim, we have my rods. Not the neatest of setups, not perfectly level or anything like that. But I've got the new rods out again. If I catch a fish on them tonight, I'd have christened them. The old CTX Creeper 10 foots. Got the old bivvy. Bivvy set up. That's my birthday recently, the missus treated me to a few things. Got myself a moon chair. Now that is comfortable. A lot of money, but that is seriously, seriously comfortable. You have no idea. I was just sitting in it and I started to doze off. Got myself a Ridge Monkey cool box. Yes, are they expensive for what they are? Yeah, but they are smart, you know. And from what I can see so far, it does the job. It is keeping the food I bought nice and cool. So yeah. To be honest with you, it's looking good. Just give you a quick bit of the swim. Like I say, I am fishing sort of one rod there and one rod over there. Out on the gravel bar. Like I say, found the nice little spot on the edge of the weed where the gravel and the silt starts. Just put them in there. If the fish are going to be anywhere, they're going to be there. But this is a beautiful lake. I mean, look. Absolutely stunning. This is only one side. The other side is a lot deeper than this. A lot deeper. The other side, you know, it's more of a winter venue. When I come here and fish, I will come here in the winter. I will do some fishing in the winter on this lake as well. We will get around there. We'll fish the deeper areas. And it's also very good for pike as well. There are some big, big pike in this uh, in this lake. So yeah, we'll do that. But like I say, that's the swim. That's Small Willow, number 16. And I'm now going to go and get something to eat because I'm absolutely starving. I'm going to do myself a toasty or something like that. But I'll see you in a bit. It's now six o'clock, well I've just gone six o'clock at night. There's a few more people turned up on the lake. I think there's someone in the swim next to me to the right hand side. No more shows, no more bubbling, nothing like that in the swim at all. Um, like I said, I haven't fished here now for about six years. This is the first time in about six years I've fished here, so I'm not sure as to whether daytime or nighttime is best. I've seen a couple of fish come out today on the surface fishing on the other side. Uh, nothing big but it just shows they are down this end. Now I'm just going to touch on the rigs I'm using tonight. I'm not going to show you because um, obviously they're in the lake. I'm using uh, Ronnie's with a six inch stiff boom, size four cranked hooks with an offset hook point. I do like my offset hook points. Uh, I do find using barbless, it's just that little bit extra angle uh, when you're fishing just to try and keep the hook inside the fish's mouth. Uh, I've got coots absolutely annihilating me out there. They keep coming up and every time they come up, they're coming up with an 18 or a 14 mil boilie in their gob. And they just sit there and look at me, happily sort of swim by, swim by back into the bushes and then they go back out and start hitting the swim again. Probably gonna top it up with five swans over each spot again in a second, uh, just before the night draws in. Hopefully we will get something. Wind's died off sun is out as you can see i've got my shades on it is absolutely stunning tonight what a beautiful place to be 
couldn't think of anywhere anywhere else I'd rather be tonight to be honest with you just chilling out like this by the lake but yeah hopefully night time brings something obviously I'll come back again in a little while have a little chat with you um, I'll show you my spawn mix and I'll get some spawns put out and then we'll sit back relax and hope another fish comes out tonight we'll hope a fish comes out tonight I haven't, I haven't even had one yet but hope something takes the bait don't believe it, I've just been massively mugged off by a fish there. I was sitting there going through my phone. Alarm started sounding, bobbing came up, the tip on the rod actually folded round two or three seconds later. Didn't even reach the rod, it was gone. Wound it in, and I'm that close to the weed, but it had actually taken me into the weed. So I've just re reset up my rod, cast it back out. But, Seven o'clock, mate. I'm going to stick another five spoms over my swim, and that's going to be it for the night. I'll just show you the mix I'm using. Lovely mix. In there, you've got loads of 14s, loads of 18s, some hemp as well. OG sauce. OG fish sauce on top of it as well. Bit of flat spot in there get that swim rock and like I say the fish are obviously in there I've just been mugged off so the fish are in this swim it's gonna be a case of even if I do spook them now they'll come back in because this is obviously attracting them in so I'm gonna stick another five spawns out there and then that's me done for the night if I get another fish I might stick another couple out on top of the spot if I get a fish in the night but I'm gonna put these spawns out and I'm gonna sit back relax and have something to eat so I will see you in a little while Look at that, eh? it's nearly 8 o'clock at night and it is just absolutely stunning. It feels <clears throat> right for a bite, it really does. But I'll say, I know they're definitely in the swim, something's in the swim, because I got mugged off a little while ago. And see no bubbles, I've got loads of little fish topping over where my, there's a little swirl there. Little fish, a few bubbles coming up. Might even have been a coot, there you go, that's a coot. <laughs> a little bastard. Um, but yeah, it is looking right for a bite, it really, really is hoping to get something tonight if i can break my pb of 20 pound i'll be bloody happy if i can get into the phase i'll be ecstatic but we'll see like i say it is just what a lake what an absolutely stunning lake that coot is now doing where i've just spawned little bugger but yeah apart from that it's fantastic what a night right i am gonna come back in a little while Hopefully it'll start getting dark soon. Hopefully that'll bring the fish into this area more. Hopefully it'll get them on the feed more. And yeah, we will uh, see what happens tonight. Come on the fish, come on. Where are you? And yes, it is morning. I slept through the night. I fell asleep about, what, about half past nine. Didn't wake up until five o'clock. I've just been sitting here watching the water. Bit of fizzing going on, um, just away from my swim probably the other side of the uh, weed bed there's been a lot of fizzing there's been a bit of fizz in my side as well had some liners during the night could have been bream um, i'm on size four hooks quite a big uh, pop-up so obviously i didn't hook any thank goodness but i've just repositioned my rods i woke up had a few liners like i say and i looked at the water this morning normally i would try not to reposition them but <clears throat> i had a look around and i just thought you know being that close to the weed bed Bought them in, little tiny few um, strands, couple of strands of weed on the uh, lead that could have been caught on the way through. So what I've done today, rather than spawning them, I've gone in the spot mix. Obviously the boilies that are in there have been soaking in the uh, Parker Bates OG fish sauce. Took some of them out, put them in a stocking, stocking on each, mesh stocking on each hook, flicked them back out, exactly the same positions. I've got coots absolutely annihilating my swim since I put them back out, which is rather annoying. Um, but yeah, it's to be expected on a place like this. I'll probably scatter some more boilies out in a minute. I'm here until midday. So I've got 
five, six hours of fishing left. I've got to be off here by two, but I'll start breaking down at midday. I'm going to get the bacon rolls on in a minute. To be honest with you, I haven't had a fish, but like I say, it's not an easy water. It's the first time I've fished this place in five or six years. So if I'd have caught one on my first session here on my first night, you know, I'd have been very, very happy. It's somewhere I've got to learn to crack. It's somewhere I am going to crack. It's somewhere I am going to get some fish from. I'm going to fish it a lot more. It's just a beautiful place. I love being on it. It really, really is. And it's just the anticipation of being on here, knowing that there are big fish in here. You know, there's 40 pound fish in here. You never know what you're going to get. So, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the bacon rolls on. And we'll uh, see if anything happens during the day. I think it's meant to be a bit cooler today. I think we're looking at around about 21 degrees. Whereas the last couple of days have been sort of 25, 26, 27. But last night there was a beautiful breeze coming across the lake. <clears throat> you know, all night there's been a breeze coming across. I reckon the air pressure's probably starting to dip. And I reckon the water temperature may be dropping a tiny bit as well with that breeze coming across. It's probably took some of the warmth off the upper layers. So the fish may stay down a bit more today until that sun comes right up. Which will be a bonus. It really will, but like I say, bacon roll time. And then let's see what happens during the day. Well, what can I say? Coming to the end of the session, uh, it's 11 o'clock now. I was given until two o'clock today, but I'm gonna start packing up in a minute and go home. I've got a lot of stuff to do today. I'm back at work again tomorrow night after a week off, so get some stuff sorted. Plus I've got a bit of a headache coming on as well, but no fish. Um, obviously last night, was I mugged off? Was it a big liner? Who knows? The fish were in the swim. I've seen bubble in this morning, but I've not had any takes. But what I will say is I've learned a lot on this 24 hours here already. First time back on the lake in five or six years. I've learned quite a lot. I've been watching what others are doing. There was a bloke next to me. He caught one this morning. And I was paying attention last night to what he was doing because he rocked up. He must have known the swim because there was no leading around or anything like that. You know, he rocked up. He must have wrapped up straight away, to, straight to the spots. And I thought, yeah, he knows what he's doing. So I've been watching how he was feeding um how he was fishing so i've took some you know took some pointers away from that but like i think last night there was only one fish out on the whole lake so it wasn't a very productive night for anybody um old matey next door it was a nice ghost i think it was 27 something like that but yeah, other people are starting to pack down now as well so like i say i'm going to start getting my stuff packed away get it in the car and uh if i get another fish before I go in the next hour or so I will come back on and I will show you the fish if not what I'd like to say is thank you very much for watching um, always appreciate it if you like the video please like it please subscribe to the channel it helps the channel to grow loads more videos to come obviously I will be fishing the syndicate every now and then but more day to get carping more beach fishing from Will I'll be joining Will back on the beach soon as well I think we've got Orford Island um, I've got 48 hours on the Bluebell Complex in September as well. And of course I'll be coming back here and also to more day ticket waters. So like I say, thank you for watching. That was Addicted to Angling on Suffolk Water Park, Peg 16, Small Willow, no fish, but that is how it goes.